will be Ignacio, then there'll be Stuart, Matthew, Sam T, Mike M. And is there anybody else who wants to compete to be able to introduce Mike and Ignacio on a Sunday? Gotta be uh, over the age of 19. Anybody else? No? I'll uh, call it again at the end. So the first up, Ignacio, where are you? party, a policy, and move forward. Be it in favor of the GST or against it. Be it the proponents of free trade or its detractors. The fact is that we, that we find what really is best for Canada and we, we make it our own. You know, we gauge the wind and we raise our sails full mass. <laughs> I joined this party not because of liberal arrogance, but because of liberal confidence. We were confident in our ideas because we knew they were right. And confidence comes through self-respect. So next up to that is Stuart. Stuart, are you here? Fantastic. Before I go any further, I want to make sure we're all at the right convention by presenting the top five signs of your level. Number five, your opponent brags about sweeping all the seats in Alberta. Now Stephen, I'm real happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish, but the Liberal Party got 100 seats in Ontario, three times in a row. Number four, thanks to Jean Chrétien, you know, without hesitation, what makes a good proof good. Number three, when Brian Moroni goes before an inquiry, it's a shameful moment that tarnishes his legacy. When your leader goes before the Gomery Inquisition, all the media can talk about are his famous balls. <laughs> number two, and this one's probably a no-brainer, you're a member of the most successful political party of the 20th century in the entire world. And the number one sign that you're a liberal, when you're responsible for a billion dollar boondoggle, it's for a gun registry designed to save countless lives. When the other guy does it, he shuts down Toronto for an international photo op, and he might be in the bathroom when they take the picture. <laughs> Laurie liked to describe liberalism as the belief that in human affairs there are always abuses to be reformed, new horizons to be opened up, and new resources to be, to be developed. And that is what Trudeau meant when he spoke of creating the just society. And that is what Chrétien and Martin were working towards, and I believe that that is Michael Ignatius' vision of this country. Wow. <laughs> Next up is Matthew. Matthew, what I think we need to do is, in the words of the philosopher Timberlake, be bringing sexy back. Why do we even care? Is sexiness important? Well, I am here to tell you unequivocally, yes it is. Let's take a look at U.S. presidential elections. In 2008, Barack Obama versus the guy who had every type of skin cancer. There needs to be an acknowledgement that sexiness matters in politics. We are hope for our leader. I mean, he was listed as one of the world's sexiest academics. We need to play to his strength. For the last two folks, we've got Sam up. I would like to talk to you about the power of one. There's a campaign out right now that states that one girl can change the world. This campaign, called the Girl Effect, advocates that if given the opportunity, girls living in poverty have the ability to change the course of history because she has the ability to break out of the cycle of poverty. If she is given the chance to get an education, stay healthy, remain HIV negative, marry when she chooses, and raise a healthy family, she then has the opportunity to raise a stand for living for herself, her brothers, her family, her community, and her country. Listen to these facts. When girls and women earn income, they reinvest 90% of it into their families, as opposed to only 30 to 40% for a man. An extra year of primary school boosts girls' future wages by 10 to 20 percent, and an extra year of post-secondary education boosts their future wages by 15 to 25 percent. One girl and one chance gives her one opportunity to change her life. It brings a whole new meaning to the idea that one person can be the change that we all need to see in the world. Many of the policies that the young liberals of Canada and BC are proposing this weekend are related in one way or another to the status of women. 
these policies cover everything from creating a microcredit bank of Canada to supporting the de development of generic drugs to help save lives. It is important that we, as women, do not become too complacent in our current roles. Certainly, we are miles away from where we stood 100 years ago, but the battle to attain, attain equality between men and women has not been finished. Thank you very much, uh, Sam. Boy, this is interesting, isn't it? Everybody's very different. Totally different. So now we're coming down to the last speaker. So bring it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Mike M. Mike. Improving jobs and preventing economic collapse is what a good government does. A great government realizes that environment and economy are interdependent and to pick one over the other is other than one. A liberal government, see great government, realizes that economy and environment are not inherently contradictory and that a properly functioning economy is a sustainable economy and a sustainable economy is environmentally friendly. Economy. We have Martha Hall here, our colleague. Say a few words while we will put our heads together. Hi everybody, I just walked in, I'm sorry I'm late, I just cut the last bit. Is everybody really going to be here for the whole weekend? Yes. Yeah! yeah. Anybody going to be here for Sunday morning victory fun breakfast? Yeah! You can listen to me talk on Sunday morning. What are you playing over the summer, Martha? Pardon me? What are you doing over the summer? Uh, well, it starts this weekend here in Vancouver. I thought that was a pretty good start. Yeah. Truth be told, after this, I'm going to go and disappear to an island in Georgia Bay for about 10 days. If anybody has been, has been made aware of the tour that's happening this summer, you all I should be really excited about it. Um, it's going to be themed throughout the summer. The leaders are going to be on a bus. We're going to be curious. Is that a big red bus? Yeah, is it like your bus? No, it's, it's, it's big. And it's a bus. And it has a bunch of red on it. But, you know, it's close. It's close. And he did, 
and the rest is history. So I think that's a really good example, and that is why I think that Michael is on a rising trend. He is starting to be himself, as I've heard him recently. So have a great conference. Support our leader. We will win the next election.